by taking out a wedge of blue paint, I can put it next to another color paint, and then I can do one stroke a lot easier, making sure that I get two colors onto a brush. You can mix and match these if you always have a little piece taken out of one paint. I'm going to use this wide chiseled brush that's kind of pointed, and you can use one that's totally flat across. And you just swipe back and forth, back and forth, making sure that the tip of your brush um, has the lighter color on it, and then the majority of your brush has a darker color. You can do it half and half too, but I just like a light tip. This is the Cabbage Rose, and you do a seashell pattern where you go up and down, up and down, up and down, and you're going to want to practice this a lot um, to get it to go smooth. But you actually want to start them out wide and leave a circle that's empty in the middle and do about five petals around, and in this time I only did a couple petals. Um, wow, that jumped. You'll see how to do this again. You put a couple blue slashes and then blue curves. I outlined the flower to make it look a lot bolder because these one strokes are very delicate and light and for face painting you might want a bolder design. Now if you use red and white as your two colors, it will look a lot powerful than this blue and pink combination. Um, but anyway, I just went around and outlined all the light blue edges. I, I outlined them on the inside and the outside to give that kind of tattooed look. Um, but you could just outline the outer edges. And this cabbage rose is a little distorted and weird because I did it upside down. If you wait, you can see some more. Um, that I did right side up because the center is a little off. Next is the cabbage rose on my foot. Just going to watch how to do it again. That's the seashell technique where you're just moving the wiggling the brush and you're keeping the pink part in the center and the blue is just radiating around it. And you're going up and down, up and down. So the, the bottom of your brush stays on a set imaginary central dot while the blue tip rolls up and down, up and down. Now this is where I did the inside leaves where you forgot or you didn't see the last time. And then this is the center of the rose that's going to be coming up next. But first I guess I'm putting a couple little leaves out on the edge just with the blue tip. And you just kind of layer them. You want to look like there's leaves farther away and closer and closer and closer. And the blue edge is going to show those layers. Now that was an upward arch with the blue on the top, and then I still have the blue on the top, but I'm going down and up. So first, I was I had the blue point going up in an arch, like a little small N, and then the other way, it made more of a U shape. And here's a little bit more of the outline. And you can see this is a little different style outlining than the first one. And it would also look nice to outline this with maybe a dark purple versus a blue. Just so that it wouldn't look so hard if you didn't want it to look that way. Here's one more shot at the Cabbage Rose in case you just have to see it again. I kept making recordings of this and I kept screwing it up with my video camera because I don't know how to hold my video camera. So anyways, I highly recommend that you look up Donna Dewberry. Watch her one strokes. Try to use it with your face paint by putting two face paints right next to each other. That is going to be the easiest way to double load. Um, you can try to swipe half your brush in one color and then rotate the other half of your brush and try to swipe it in the other one. It's just not going to come out as clean. 
and load it evenly and it's a lot easier to refill all the time. So if you ever are in an antsy fancy mood face painters and you haven't tried this, do it and you will love it. People love this design with some pretty green leaves. It's fabulous. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.